Well, hello there, folks. Welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Five malt whiskies for under £200. Can it be done? I'm going to have a go, folks. The present climate, it seems to be one of these things at the minute. Whiskey prices are just going through the roof. Everything's getting more expensive. These five whiskies, folks, are all readily available here in the UK. Nothing's difficult to get a hold of. You can go to various locations and you can pick up any of these five whiskies. Yes, granted, global markets may be slightly different. I'm not too sure if it's around in your market and I'm not too sure what the prices would be in your market. If there are any different guys, feel free, dive in, share it with us in the comments comments let us know yeah, there's various reasons why you, why you might want to watch this video folks you may be new to whiskey and you're looking for ideas you're looking what can you get onto your bar what what how you want to develop a bar i'm going to try and do a wee bit mix of flavor profiles and different things as well different distilleries maybe a wee bit of blended malt in there a little bit of independent bottler in there and some distillery bottles in there as well so i'm going to try and mix it up and give you as much variety i'm going to get five guys i'm going to get them around about the 200 pounds mark but i'm also going to give you a few little ones if you decide did you want to switch something out and switch something in its place i'm going to give you some alternatives there as well yes i do have a whiskey in my glass folks i'm going to share that one with you if you're, if you're able to hang around to the end that'd be fantastic and i'll be able to share that one totally so guys if you like what i'm doing you like the channel you want to support the channel hit that subscribe button down below let's get that out of the way let's get it done and dusty it's completely free guys it doesn't cost you a penny so yeah that big red button down there folks just give it a click and if you're a regular on the channel you probably wouldn't might not be surprised this is going to show up in many lists because it's an outstanding whiskey i can hear you saying it's diageo i can hear you saying it's colored i can hear you saying it's chill filtered yes Yes and yes. It's 46%, however. We have to be thankful to uh, Diageo for that. This is a quality, quality whiskey. It's subject to a little bit of batch variance from time to time, but it's very rarely that I pick up a bad one. I picked this one, folks, up for $35.99, which is super, super value in this present climate. It is, it's fruity, it's bright, it's clean. A little bit of orangey vibe going on with it. A little bit of vanilla vibe, a little bit of orange vibe, and a little hint of smoke in there as well on the nose. As you get into the palate, it's bright. It's that wonderful, oily, waxy mouth feel that Klein Leash is famous for. Uh, it's got a little spiced oak thing going on in there as well and it's, it's bright, it's fruity, it's vanilla-y, it's fudgy. That little bit of orange thing goes into the palate as well and then on the, on the finish it is spiced oak, it is long, lingering, little bit of bitterness but nothing off putting. Wonderful, wonderful, that's the first one, Klein Leash 14. 35.99. Moving on to the second one on the list, folks. Where are we heading? We're at one. We're heading. We're staying up on the highlands, but this time we're going to put a wee bit of sherry into the mix. Yes, I can hear you saying that's been on the list before. This whiskey, I imagine, will be on everyone's lists, folks, because it's that type of whiskey. It's the Thompson Brothers up there in Dornock. It is the TB forward slash BSW, aged over six years, rested and bottled in Dornock product of scotland so this is a blended scotch whiskey and what that means to you guys is it's got malt whiskey in there and it's got some grain whiskey in there and they've been beautifully blended together with the thompson brothers and it's for a wee bit more sherry guys i hear there's a wee rumor that there's some Macallan going on in this uh, and i think the grain is maybe some teachers but if anybody in the know knows any different dive into the comments and let me know but this is super super value folks i picked this up at 36.75 I didn't do a lot of shopping around. So I think if I spent a wee bit more time, and I think if you do that with most of these guys, if you spend a wee more, more time, you may be able to shave an extra few pounds off here and there as well. Uh, this isn't taking into account any shipping, guys, so the shipping might be involved and it might just tip it over the 200. Beautiful, beautiful sherry. Raisins, figs, dates, all the usual sherry, sherry stuff. Red fruit, a lot of red fruit, some nice spice notes going on. Lovely and complex, lovely and engaging. Nothing overly complex, guys. It's just one of those beautiful, if you fancy a wee bit of sherry whiskey on your night, then this is a beautiful place to hit and it's not going to break the bank. 46%, non chill filtered, natural colour, and a beautiful aged over six years age statement on the bottle so wonderful wonderful stuff well done thompson brothers so that's the second one up where are we going with the third we may as well stick with another indie bottle folks we're going to bring in the compass box orchard house look at that beautiful beautiful bright fruity 
everything look at all that bright fruit on there it's as it says the title gives it away lots and bags and bags and bags of orchard fruit I picked this one up for £45.50 again if you shop around if you get it anywhere between that 42 and 46 then it's a, it's a, it's a done deal snap it up pick it up uh, this one the blended this is a blended malt so it's blended malts in this one. Predominantly, it is Linkwood and Kleinlich. So again, it's fruity, it's bright. Uh, Linkwood is predominantly fruity as well. Fruity, bright. A little bit of malty character in that. Uh, lots of orchard fruit, lots of apples, pears, apricots. All, all those juicy, juicy fruits. Very, very... Sometimes when it depends on the mood, guys, there's a wee hint of smoke in there. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't get it. I think the smoke's coming through. There's a tiny, tiny little bit of Kalila in there as well. And I think that's initially where the smoke comes from. So absolutely wonderful, wonderful stuff. And again, with this one, guys, we typically with the Thompson Brothers and and the and the compass box here. You can there's there's codes where you can go and check out, and it'll tell you exactly what's in the bottle. Lots of great transparency from the Indies. That seems to be a thing from the Indies now. We've got very, very good, great transparency going on. Forty five ninety nine. Well done, compass box. This might be a surprise, guys. Who would have thought? that I could get a Campbelltown whiskey in here and it's readily available. Look, well, we've managed it. We've got the Campbelltown lot, a beautiful little Springbank bottle going on there. And as it says on the bottle here, 100% Scotch whiskies, And it says on the back, 100% Campbelltown whiskies going on in here. So we all know we're going to, and it's blended and bottled by Springbank. So yes, I picked this one up for 39.95. Easy to get a hold of. Does it? Uh, no problem picking it up. This is this is slightly darker. This batch. So again, just be wary of batch variants. This is a little bit darker than the last one. So I'm presuming there's probably a wee bit more sherry going on in this one. But yeah, typical. If you like those Campbelltown whiskies, those Glen Scotias, those Kilkerrens, those Hazelburns, those Longrows. I'm pretty sure there's a mix of all of that in here. Not too sure of what the mix is, guys. So again, if anybody knows in the comments, dive in. Let us know. Anybody at Springbank's watching wants to share it with us, then I feel happy to take that on board. Uh, dive in and the con get the conversation going. 46% non-chill filtered natural colour. All that beautiful Springbank, that Campbelltown funkiness, that maritime mall, the brain, the little bit of smoke in there, the, the sherry, there's some beautiful vanillas. It's all going on with this whiskey, but wonderful, wonderful stuff. And at 39.95. Got one left. Where are we going? Wouldn't be a list without this. Loch Lomond 12. I've been buying a lot of Loch Lomond lately. There's so much coming out. There's so much around. And it's one of those distilleries. It's, it's, it's a wonderful, for me, it's a Jekyll and Hyde distillery. They can produce just about anything there. Grain whiskey, single grain whiskies, pot still whiskies, single malts, blended malts. It's all going on. Blended malts that are actually single malts and all that through the, 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 the rubbish of the, the rules that they have to play by. But this this is a staple. You probably notice this is the old bottle, guys. It's in a new bottle now. I'll try and put a on over the new bottle but the reason I've still got this one guys is when I picked this one up I picked it up for £29.95 and I managed to buy a case of it so I've gradually been working my way through that case so I've not got around to pick up a new one yet currently it's coming in at £37.75 so it's gone up a wee bit since I bought it but again this one's non-chill filtered it's 46% ABV and there's nothing about colouring so I'm presuming there's a little bit of colour in this one but yeah again this is this is bright fruity floral fragrant spicy little bit of industrial notes in there as well mixed with the fruit so it's, it's a little bit of complexity going on without being overly complex if you're looking for something to start you off on a whiskey flight then the Loch Lomond 12 would be perfect for that uh, absolutely wonderful it is I say it's bright it's fruity it's fresh it's industrial it's a little bit of complexity absolutely wonderful stuff and at 37.75 it's outstanding value uh, well done Loch Lomond so as, as we total it up we'll feel we're under it the 100 to 200 pounds if you feel there's something in there this is where you guys can participate now dive into the comments guys and let me know if you'd switch something out what would you switch it for if you'd switch them all out what would you switch them all for so give me your list of five dive in share it with us i'm going to give you a few alternatives that we could switch out for we could switch out the maybe the clean leash and bring in the ben romack 10 Ben Romack 10, yeah, it's dropping a wee bit of ABV down, 43%, a little bit more smoke maybe in this one. Uh, first fill bourbon, first fill uh, sherry, absolutely wonderful stuff. 
constant staple on my bar it's pretty much there all the time this one's kicking in at the minute at 38 pounds and 90p so fantastic stuff that's the Ben Romack 10. Uh, if you want to switch out and bring, maybe take the Thompson brothers out, bring in a wee bit more. Uh, Glen Allicky 12 coming in. Beautiful, dark, sherry driven. Those wonderful characteristics of Glen Allicky, that sticky honey note, raisins, figs, dates, all the real, real sherry stuff. Again, this is a, a, a latest batch and it's getting darker and darker and darker. 46% non chill filtered natural colour. This one's coming in at £45.90. I remember the days where I could pick this up for about 37 or 38 Where have them days gone? If you want to switch out maybe the Orchard House and bring in, let's keep the fruitiness in, you could go back up to Speyside and go to Craig Elegy. So you've got the Craig Elegy 13. I love this dram. I've got a new bottle ordered at the minute, so I'm waiting on that arriving as we speak. Uh, but the beautiful warm tubs with this one, a wee bit more complexity going on. Thick, oily, buttery, creamy, mouthfeel, but it's all that complexity of Craig Elegy. <laughs> Again, it's bright fruit, it's apples. It's malty, it's biscuity, it's all of that stuff. If you want a wee bit more complexity going on, then you can switch that in. So it's the Craig Elliki 13. And once you get into that, you want to date your journey any further, you can expand to the 17, but it might bust your budget. One more, guys. We're going to bring in a wee bit of smoke in here. Back to Ben Romack. This is the new bottles from Ben Romack. This is the contrast range. This is beautiful natural colour. Says so on the bottle right here. Natural colour, non-chill filtered. 46% ABV. Heavily peated barley. First fill. Bourbon casks. Little bit of sherry in there maybe as well. But it's lemony. It's sherbety. It's fizzy. It's smoky. It's it's my second favourite peated whiskey of last year. And to be thinking you can pick this up for around about 50 to 52 pounds. Absolutely incredible stuff. So that's my five, guys, and that's my couple of alternatives. Dive in, share it with us, let me know what you think. Yeah, and my glass, what have I got here, folks? Almost forgot. Bright, fresh, fruity, a little bit industrial, vanillas, toffees. Wow, so bright, so fresh. Lot Loman 12. And the glass. On the nose, it's bright, fresh, fruity. On the palate, 46%. Spicy. Wow. Develops lovely. A little bit of fizz, a little bit of toffee, a little bit of fudge. But it's still fruity. Wonderful. Spinach, spicy finish. Long finish, 12 years old, Loch Lomond, again, under £40. Super, super stuff, guys. Dive in, guys, share your thoughts with me. I'd love you to engage, I'd love to get in the conversation. Again, guys, if you don't have the subscribe button, what you're waiting for, it's still free, it's still completely free. You're helping the channel massively. And to all my Patreons, guys, if, if big thanks to each and every one of you. And if you feel you want to support the channel, guys, you want to help out, you like what I'm doing, check out the Patreon page. I'll put all the links into the description. And if you feel you want to help out and you want to come on board, I'd love to have you. Other than that, I'm Alan. I'm the Whiskey Friend. And as we always say, don't forget to send some great whiskey straight down the hatch. And the pleasure is in the sharing. Cheers now. Until the next time, guys. See you soon.